Hey everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapists. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to talk about knee replacement rehab and recovery and talk about three more big and important mistakes to avoid when it comes to your rehab. Hey everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist. So in this video, we're doing part two of the top mistakes to avoid when it comes to your recovery, your rehab, your physical therapy after knee replacement surgery. So let's recap part one where I talked about three common mistakes and mistakes that you want to avoid when it comes to your rehab. So first we talked about failure to prepare. So we talked about how it's really important to prepare yourself both physically and mentally, psychologically, and preparing your home environment for knee replacement surgery. And if you're not going to prepare, you're setting yourself up to have a much longer and much more difficult recovery after surgery. So it's very important to prepare for both the surgery, but also prepare for your recovery and rehab after surgery. Number two, we talked about not having realistic expectations. And we talked about one being with realistic expectations when it comes to what you're going to be able to do after knee replacement surgery. Of course, for a lot of people, you're going to gain a lot of mobility, a lot of function, and be able to do a lot more than you did prior to your surgery. But at the same time, the best knee is the knee that you originally had in your body. And You know, just having a knee replacement is not necessarily going to make you a young, athletic version of yourself. Um, There's still going to be some limitations, and we have to look at things from a realistic perspective. And we also need to look at things realistically when it comes to the actual um, physical therapy and recovery after surgery. So we always talk about... Um, you know, people go to physical therapy for maybe six weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, maybe a little bit longer, but in reality, your recovery and truly getting to that point where you feel fully recovered and rehabbed is going to be much longer than that. So you want to think about six months, you maybe up to a year, maybe more than that is really the entirety of your rehab and recovery. It doesn't necessarily stop just because physical therapy stops after your surgery. And then the third one we talked about in the last video was not controlling your pain. So we talked about how it's easier to keep away the pain than to make it leave once it's arrived. We talked about staying on top of taking your pain medicines, especially early on after surgery, and using other strategies such as icing, elevation, compression to help manage and keep your pain at a tolerable level so that you're better able to tolerate physical therapy exercises and all the aspects of your recovery. So that's a quick summary of the three mistakes I talked about in part one. So now let's go into part two, three more mistakes that are very common when it comes to knee replacement surgery and your recovery and rehab and what we can do to mitigate and to avoid these mistakes. So the first one we're going to talk about is focusing on intensity rather than focusing on consistency and time and repetitions. So what we're talking about with this is when we're looking at most notably range of motion. So working on straightening the knee and bending the knee, a lot of times people think that no pain, no gain. I'm going to really crank on this knee, bend it as far as I can, break up all that scar tissue, really get my range of motion to where I want it to be and really push and crank on the knee. And physical therapists and health professionals, we can be, um, you know, we can make this error as well. So you don't want to necessarily do this. And the reason for this is if you really crank on the knee and really try to get the max intensity, max bend you possibly can or straightening, what can happen is it's going to cause a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort, a lot of aggravation of your symptoms. Um, knee replacement rehab, you're going to have pain, you're going to have discomfort, especially early on, especially with 
doing the bending and the exercises, but we don't want to go so super intense where we get that 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 pain. And then what's going to happen is it's just going to aggravate everything and you're going to have increased pain, swelling, stiffness, and all these things are going to last probably into the next day, if not longer. And the next day, you're not going to be able to really tolerate any exercise or physical activity or physical therapy. So we don't necessarily want to just crank on everything to the max intensity that we can handle. We want to focus more on repetitions and consistency. So that means doing your exercises, doing your, your bending exercises, doing your straightening exercises, but doing them at repetitions. Repetitions where it's a moderate push, a little bit of, you know, you have to push yourself a little bit to get that extra range and to build that range, but we don't have to crank on it super hard every single time. You just want to be consistent, do a number of repetitions, do it multiple, multiple times throughout the day and do it every single day. This is especially early on after surgery as you have that window of opportunity to really get the most benefit from these exercises in terms of improving your mobility and your range of motion. So don't necessarily crank on it and aggravate everything and tense everything up and set you back and you can't even do your exercises the next day. Focus more on consistency, doing a lot of repetitions, spending a lot of time doing the exercises, putting a little bit moderate intensity enough to get something out of it, but not so much that it's gonna super, super aggravate everything and set you back, okay? So that's the first mistake to talk about. The second one we're gonna talk about is only focusing on your bend. So of course, a huge thing when it comes to rehab and recovery after surgery is what's that magical number? How far can you bend your knee? Can you bend it 90 degrees? Can you bend it 100 degrees? Can you bend it 140 degrees? Can, you know, what's, how do you compare to your friend down the street? How do you compare to your relative? Um, you know, what was it compared to last week? Are you doing it getting enough range of motion? Or are you getting too little range of motion? On and on and on. And we really just spend all this time worrying about and thinking about our knee bending and what that magical number is. And at the end of the day, yes, it's important to work on your bending, working on your knee flexion and straightening range of motion. It's important to try to restore as much of this as we can because it's going to help you out in the long term with your function and your ability. But it's only one piece of your recovery and your rehab. You know, we need to think about other things. We need to think about your strength. What's that strength in your quadricep muscle? Are you restoring that strength? What's your function? Are you able to walk? Are you able to go up and down stairs? Are you able to get out of a chair? Um, what's your function? What's your balance and stability? Are you walking with a, a walker? Are you walking with a cane? Have you moved on to being able to walk without an assistive device? Are you able to walk comfortably with minimal pain and discomfort? These things are a lot of different variables and factors that are going to play into your recovery and can be just as important as that magic number of your knee bend. So make sure you don't just get bogged down and are just looking at that number and that amount of flexion. Yes, that's important. Yes, that's a part of your recovery and your rehab, but there's all these different things that are important as well. They're going to play into your overall recovery and the successfulness of your outcome after surgery. And then number three for this video is not doing your physical therapy, your PT homework. So if that means your exercises that your physical therapist or your surgeon gives you, if that means the instructions and recommendations for managing your knee after surgery, icing, elevation, compression, how to sleep with the knee, um, knee replacement, how to walk things to do throughout the day. All of these things are extremely, extremely important. You're not going to get the best recovery. You're not going to get the best outcome by just what you do maybe two hours, three hours a week when you're in physical therapy a couple times a week. You're going to get the best outcome and the best recovery from your knee replacement surgery when you take an active approach and you're engaged and managing your knee replacement by yourself. So that means taking time to consistently, bringing up that word consistency again, consistently doing your exercises a couple times per day, maybe, um, you know, 
taking that down to maybe once a day eventually, but at least early on, maybe two or three times a day going through your range of motion, going through your strengthening exercises. It means following the advice of your surgeon. It means things that you should be doing as well as avoiding and staying away from things you shouldn't be doing. And just taking this active and engaged approach. Um, you know, physical therapists are great and they offer a lot of benefit, but really it's going to come down to what are you doing to help your body and to facilitate your knee and your body to heal and recover fast and efficiently and effectively as well so that you're able to improve the quality of life, improve the things that you're able to do and the activities that you're able to do in your life that make you happy and bring you joy. All right. So those are my top mistakes to avoid when it comes to knee replacement rehab. Let's just do a quick rundown of all six of them. So we talked about failure to prepare yourself both for the surgery and what's to come after surgery in terms of physical preparation, mental, psychological preparation. We talked about having realistic expectations, both about the surgery and the outcome from knee replacement surgery, as well as the length and what's included in the recovery process. We talked about not controlling pain, staying on top of your pain, not letting it get out of control, being able to tolerate the physical activity, the exercises that you have to do for recovery. We talked about focusing just on intensity rather than focusing on consistency and repetitions and doing the exercises over time and building that range of motion over time rather than trying to get it all in one time, one repetition. We talked about only focusing on your bend and not spending time focusing on all the other important aspects of your recovery, your strength, your balance, your walking, your activity tolerance, all these very important things. And then we said not doing your PT homework, not taking that active engagement, not being proactive about your recovery, your rehab. At the end of the day, it's your knee, your health, and your life. So with that, I'll end this video. Thank you very much as always, everyone. If you thought this was useful and helpful, be sure to subscribe. I post videos um, all the time, everything related to knee replacement surgery, preparing, recovery, the surgery itself, frequently asked questions. Thank you very much for watching everyone and take care.